Come on, Type TV, Bristle Rovers preview, bearded type Ryan. Uh, thanks for taking your time yeah. out, Ryan. Appreciate it, mate. Um, yeah, Bristol Rovers game we're back at Oakwell, Ryan. Um, yeah. had a bit of a break, obviously, with FA Cup, you know, um, not being involved in FA Cup. So, back at home, surely it's got to be a win. Start, start turning these draws into wins, mate, aren't we? Uh, well, absolutely, but um, it's fair to say Bristol, aren't, aren't Bristol Rovers aren't any, they're not mugs, mate, at all. They've, they've had some really good results of late. The 10th in the table, uh, they aren't, they're nine points behind us, so they'll be obviously still looking to close that gap. But if you look at their form in December, they beat, they beat Bolton away, they beat yeah. Portsmouth, uh, they beat Charlton. Um, I think they got beat they got beat on New Year's Day, didn't they? Can't remember who now, but they got beat on New Year's Day. But then they've had a good result away at Norwich in Cup, drawn one all last Saturday. So mm. they've had some they've had some good wins, mate. They've beaten Bolton, like I said, they've beaten Bolton, they've beaten Portsmouth in in recent weeks. So. <clears throat> It ain't going to be easy at all. It's going to be a tough game, mate, because they'll they'll be coming here. They're wanting to close that gap on the top six. They'll be. They'll I be like the manager, me Matt Taylor. I mean, I, I liked him when he was at Exeter. He did a, yeah. a, a good job at Exeter. I like his ways. How he implements on game Exeter. Went on, to, obviously, we all know about it. Robram. He went to Robram and uh, Bristol Rovers. But Matt Taylor, I just think he's a. He's only about 40, 41, I think. So he's a pretty young coach manager. Yeah. But I just like how he implements his style of play. How he, I just, I, I, I think he understands this league, man. He understands yeah. this league. League one, he, you know. He, well, Matt, he, he got rather him out of it, didn't he? He got, he, yeah. He, he, he Matt Taylor. Him. So it's, you know, it's going to be a tough test, mate. It's going to be a tough test. They've got some good players. Um, you know, they've been performing well at home. They've got that new stand up at home now, aren't they? Behind goal, mm-hmm. so it's starting to look a bit more like a. A bit more, bit, uh, a bit more like a proper football stadium than, than a lot of stands hotchpotch together. They're, they're a good side, mate. They, you know they've got Luke Thomas. We know good Luke Thomas is. Yeah. Um. So it's going to be. I think it's going to be a really tough test. I don't think it's going to be anything like the what we, you know, like the walkover that we had last season at all. No. We had a no. tough game down at their place. It was only second game at season. Um. I actually think. I actually think Bristol were unlucky not to win that game. Um, so yeah, tough test, mate. But we need three. You know, we've got to kick on now. We are like, like Neil Collins mentioned before. We are we are a different team to what we were early on. We're yeah. a much more together squad. Um, still got we obviously know we have still got gaps missing there and there about six squad. So it's going to be a tough game. But yeah, definitely hoping for three points, mate. But it's it's not. It's going to be close. I'll tell you that. On about squad, it's come together. Obviously, we've had a we've had a break. So players have re. Regrouped, re you know, had a, re, had a rest of a, a Christmas period. I don't think there's any fresh injury worries. He, uh, he touched on Josh Benson, Matty Wolf, and Kundi, which we all kind of know about. So, again, that's, that's clean to know there's no fresh injury worries. Yeah. Again, looking at the games, Ryan, it, it, it seems to be that we need to try and close these games out uh, away at Peterborough. I mean, obviously, against Wigan, it's games that we need to. You know, see art, and again, I think it, it, is, I think it shows his like his defensive frailties at time. At, at sometimes at back, we we a bit slow at mark, but you put back down to short, you know, amount of games, short space time because both teams yeah. play it like that, don't they? Yeah, they do, mate. But they, 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 all teams have played it in that thing. I, I think we should have finished Wigan off um, before they got to it, but sort of like the last the last twenty five minutes, they they, yeah. they sort of got into gear a bit, didn't they, Wigan? You could see it coming. Lads were knackered. They were, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not making excuses for them, but they were knackered. I think if it had been at full strength and had that been a regular Saturday, Saturday to Saturday game, I think we'd have, we'd, we'd, we'd have seen it out because they, they weren't offering much. They only had that one shot on target. They did play some half decent stuff. Uh, you could tell the lads were exhausted. I think that Neil Collins has um, his substitutions in that game weren't weren't great, and I think he's touched it, t- touched on it today, and in the in the interview, it's so especially he took and it didn't work. Yeah. It's difficult, we, you know. It's, it's difficult to get it right, isn't it? But, but anyway, um, no, no fresh injury worries, mate. So, I've got, to, I've got to imagine we're going to be playing a similar, a similar team, unless anything happens in the next two days that we that we're una, that we're unaware of. Yeah, looks like obviously dodgson has gone back. Uh, McCart yeah. is stopping, so stopping, that's I think good news. Yeah. Uh, good news. No news on Robert, so no news is good news. He's still a Barnes player, although it's loan. So again, you've got, you know, McAtee as well, another player. 
So you've got like some lone players here that look like up to now. I don't want to jinx out. They're still, they're still going to be. Uh, yeah, I can't see McAtee coming back, Neil. I can't see him. Uh, Roberts potentially, I could see him going back. But that keeper that played for Middlesbrough the other day, play, he, mm. he, was, he was outstanding. Um, and I think both of them have already gone, unless that's one of them that's remained. But he he, he had a fantastic game up there. So, made some great saves. So, um, maybe they don't need him. Yeah. <laughs> fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. We, we fingers might crossed. see. I, I think if, if, if a club wants to bring a, lo a loan player back, it's because he said they either wanted to sell him or or the um, or they don't feel he's getting enough games. Mm -hmm. He's getting plenty of games. He's doing he's doing really well at Barnsley. He's doing really well for his development. I don't think there's any reason for Luton to Me to, to, to bring him back. And obviously they've got you know they've had Mads off this season where he installed payments. I'm sure they don't want to. I'm sure they don't want to upset <laughs> upset, <laughs> upset Barnsley. So hopefully upset the goodwill. Will. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. It's got. I think that you know. I think there's there needs to be more of it. Really, goodwill between certain clubs. You know, where yeah. players can go from other and, and come back other way. And I think it's it's good to have those relationships. Yeah. So, so anyway, yeah. I don't think I think McAtee will definitely be staying with us. Great news about McCart. He's not. Mm. You know, I think a lot of people call, call him McCart or some stuff like that. I don't think he's a bad player at all. I think he's all right. He's 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 solid, mate. He's pretty solid. He's not the fastest, but he does like to pick up the ball and move with it, take the, take the ball out of defence. He's good in air, he's a, he's a unit, and, and he's been playing, and more importantly, he's been playing in that back three most of the season. Mm. And, and where we were really strong last year is where we had a back three. We had a better back three, but we had a back three that played together all the time. Mm. I think that's that's really important that we don't try and fracture that too much. Um, um, in this bit, apart from apart from obviously the, the the obvious, which is moving Williams out to right wing back and getting a and getting an well, actual centre back in. Touching on back three, just this that you mentioned back there, a lot's been made about this Donovan Pines uh, from America, and I've seen it on social. Just been about it as well as sends. I'd rather if he's been linked with us and he's going to be a bounce player. I don't want to jinx out or not like that again, but I'd rather it just get done because uh, yeah, lad like that as a free agent. You just want him, just like bounded up business and say, here, yeah, go with the announcement. You know, I don't want, because I don't want any other clubs to potentially come in and put another offering or agents. Look yeah. Out here and, you know. I think what he can be sure of at Barnsley is he's going to get a game. You know, the, these, I think a lot of these team players, regular. he looks, he looks a really good player, mate. And if we get him, he's a good signing. You know, MLS is, is a decent level. Um, and there's a smattering of some really good players over there. Uh, and he looks, he looks a decent player for, for, from his eye. About six foot five in here, summer. Six foot five, mate, an absolute unit. Yeah. So, mm. and he's got, he's got some belting goals as well. Mm. So, but for him, you know, for these Americans to come over and play and play in England, and obviously they're wanting to get to a higher level. They have to take that stepping stone first because there's not many are going to get picked out of MLS to go to a top championship sure. club or a top or a top top Premier League club. You have to be absolutely outstanding for that, and there ain't that many mm. that's done it over the years. So for them to take a stepping stone mm. is to, uh, is to get into a, a, a you know a, a smaller team within England and then then you're you're in the shop window then in England aren't you? Yeah, it's a big uh, move for Adam Owen. I think if he comes to Barnsley, he knows he's going to play. Mm. He knows he's going to play and he's going to be in that shop window and he knows that you know there's a lot of players that have gone on from Barnsley to to do really well in, in the higher league. So we do have that as an advantage. If he goes to a Championship club, is he going to play every week or is he going to be back up? I don't know. Depends what he wants for his career, I suppose, and maybe well, sometimes you, money talks. But you look at Ethan Pinnock and going. you look at Ethan Pinnock and Mads Anderson, like you said, they have it, you know, they played at Barnes, they've got in shot window and yeah. went on and you know, very Premier League, or well, you know, different aspects. Mads, so, uh, um, yeah. um, uh, Liam Kitchen, gone on to Coventry. Yeah. I know Bobby yeah. Thomas were only on loan last season, but his performances at Oakwell got him a really good move to Coventry. So. Hmm. You know, it's hopefully you can hopefully you'll see that, and I, I don't think it's a matter of the club a, 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 a stalling, mate. They're just <laughs> they've got to get the player to say yes, haven't they? They've got to come to an agreement. I'm sure there's a I lot more yeah. working parts to a to a deal than than than, than we see as think, what they were winding signing. I don't think it's like a football manager. It's like we can one football manager up game and like just keep offering this, offering that. We've got to probably to call boxes, make sure if there's any yeah. work permit issues, making sure that it's straight for player. Family, you know, has got to move over here. There's a lot of, you know, ice and dot and uh, T's to cross kind of thing. But if 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 
he is back in uh, England, which you look at social and it's been all over, plastered all over. Yeah. Look, I, the next time I want to see Donovan Pines is like, oh, well, I didn't share up with his, his name yeah. up back. And, you know, if that means that it's going to be quiet until this announcement, I, I don't give monkeys me. Like, I'd rather yeah. it be like I think, that. I think, they're trying, like, I think they're trying to keep you, the powder dry, aren't they? Yeah. Do you think, and again, I'll open this up before we go into school predictions and stuff. Do you think we, and I call it out when Collins came in, I think, uh, I'm not sure if uh, it were you and Ch- uh, Charlie what were on as well, when Collins came over saying, it'd be ideal if Collins, obviously in America, and he knows the, the game in MLS and everybody like that. Yeah. Do you think it's a player that is being aware of? Do you think he's got other, you know, when you're in a different country, you've got certain, like, you know, they, the players might be on your radar kind of thing and you, you yeah. kind of know about him. Do you think he's had an input in this? With him in I, I, I would hope so, mate. I can't see. I can't see why not. You know, we over here, we scout the players over here, don't we? we have our scouting mm-hmm. system, scouting players, and most managers in the EFL are aware of players at, certain, at the English club. So there's no reason why he wouldn't be aware of being, you know, managing in America. Why he wouldn't be aware of another of a decent player at an American club? It's only the same thing, isn't it? Really. Um, so yeah, I hope so. I, I don't. I don't mean that we have to go f- dipping into, into American market for every, for no, every player. But, but there's listen. There's some really good players over there. If the yeah. decent ones available, there is, you're gonna, there is some. Yeah. There is some. There is some definitely some diamonds in the rough over there, as as, as, as we've seen over years. Hmm. As we've seen over years, you know, last Americans to come and play for us weren't too bad, were they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and nobody had heard of him. And he was like, "Who's yeah. this?" And he turned out, and he was an absolute superstar. So, yeah. you know, it's. Fair comment. They're out, yeah. they're out, they're, they're yeah, out there comment. to be found, mate. Uh, and I think, yeah, I, th- I think he'll be. I think if we can get him, he's played at a decent level. He's played for his country. You know, he's an absolute unit. He's a he's a proper right sided centre back. It's mm. it's it's it, it, it'll be a great call, mate. If we can. Yeah. Right. So we will go back to Bissell Rovers game. Uh, I don't think there'll be any changes made. Uh, no. If they've had like a break off, you'd, you'd can't, would you say it's going to be the same start in 11, uh, Ryan? I would say so. I would say so. Um, only, th- only, only change up potentially. Would did Styles start on left or did Cadden start on left? Uh, I think it was Styles. It was that long ago now, right now. I think it was yeah. Styles. Yeah. Uh, well, either Cadden or Styles on left, whoever, whoever it was, um, for, for that. I think, yeah, midfield three start the start themselves at the moment, don't they? So it's mid, you know, it'll be. Um, Luca, it was Cadden. It was Cadden. I'm just, I'm just realizing that, just realizing it, yeah. Uh, because I, so, when so I was leave, leave, leave. you were having a go in the car. I, don't know, maybe, maybe, I, I, I think the only change would be maybe potentially Nicky for uh, Nicky Cadden in for um, for, for Styles, but I wouldn't be bothered if in because you know, I like Nicky Cadden. I'm, I, I think he's just been a little bit out, out of form, but he can be brilliant, so it won't bother me if he stays where he is. Um, Obviously, midfield three will be the same. I imagine the back three is going to be the same 